What's up, everybody? This is Hector Tech Preach. So Rode have done it again, right? They have listened to their customers and sent out a massive update, a firmware update that I believe if you have a Rodecaster video, you're going to absolutely love, right? Okay, so I have the new firmware update 1.2.03 this new firmware update is massive this is something that if you have a rollcaster video you will absolutely love i've i've downloaded it and i've been playing around with it for about an hour so i'm going to go through everything i've learned in this massive update uh and go from there so let's have us some fun sit back relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey Let's go. What's up, guys? This is Eric back with another video. So I have the latest firmware update from Rode. Now, this is a big one. This is something that we all been waiting on. And I've been playing around with it for about an hour. I turned the camera on. I hit the record button. And I want to go over it with you guys. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go. I might miss some stuff. But I'm going to go over everything that I've learned so far in the past hour using this firmware update. Now, as you guys know, I have two Rodecaster videos. And I have one Rodecaster Pro 2 going into the Rodecaster Pro uh, Rodecaster video. So this new update brings in NDI support. Yes, right. You can use four network devices on the Rodecaster video. Absolutely amazing. This is something that you're going to love, right? Uh, which I'm going to show you again in this video. Uh, you have uh, the Role Capture app that's only for iOS that if you now you can use NDI support with iPhones. So if you use an iOS devices and you have a Rodecaster video, now you can use uh, the Rode Capture app for NDI wirelessly connect to your Rodecaster video and you use that as a wireless camera. Wow. The next thing that they added was PTZ control. So if you have a PTZ camera, you could control it with the Rode uh, uh, Central app which is amazing. You have Luma key now. Uh, you have key masking and key stretching and layer stretching uh, for, for lower thirds. Uh, you have input overlays, which again is really nice. Uh, you also have auto switching, uh, and which you can assign your Rodecaster Pro 2 or your Rodecaster Duo. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys some of that, which I haven't tested yet in this video. And one of the things that I really wanted and it brought to the table with this new update was rounded corners. I'm going to show you that in this video also. All right, let's go over some of the stuff I've learned in the past hour of me using this update. Okay, let's go. Oh man, right now I'm using the green screen. Uh, and yes, you could always could use a green screen with the Rodecaster video. So if I turn off key, as you can see, my green screen does not go all the way across. Well, with the new update, you could fix that. And I'm going to show you guys this here. Let's go to my computer. Okay. So we are on the computer. And as you can see, I, I could key out the green screen. Okay, but as you can see, it does. I still have background. Well, with the new update, you can crop in. That wasn't done before. This is one of the reasons why I could never use a green screen in my videos like this. It's because you, I couldn't crop it. I had to either do it in post, but now you could do it right on the Rodecaster video. Right here by adjustment, right? You click on adjustment and now all you have to do is drag and look at that. Oh my goodness. So now you get this drag and boom. That's what I'm talking about. Now you have the ability to crop in. If your green screen does not uh, go all the way across your background. Okay. So that's one feature. All right. The next feature NDI NDI. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So let me show you NDI camera. Okay, so I have an NDI camera here. This is an NDI camera wireless. I have this wireless going to my Rodecaster video. And this is this is going to be my side camera. So that's my side camera. This is going to be my NDI camera. 
Wow, NDI camera looks better than my side camera. Yeah, so that's my side camera. And this is going to be my NDI camera. So uh, you have the ability now to have wireless NDI cameras and the latency is not bad. It absolutely looks good. I mean, maybe off this little tab, but uh, it can all be fixed in post. Okay. I have another NDI camera. Let me get out of inspection. I have another NDI camera right here and I have that set up on four. Okay. So I have another wireless NDI camera here. Okay. So here it is. Another NDI camera. <laughs> so this is a wireless camera. Uh, and this is a wireless camera. So I have two cameras and you can have up to four NDI sources uh, and you can assign them to your scenes or any one of your camera layouts, right? Uh, one through six, you can go either one through six and I'm gonna show you guys here and go back, bam. Okay, you can assign it to one through six. I have one NDI camera assigned to four, okay? Okay. I got one assigned to four and I got one assigned to six. And as you can see, uh, I got power connected to it. But uh, yeah, it's wireless. And these will be the, uh, the, the Neil Stream cameras. Okay, I've used these before. I got a video on it on my YouTube channel. Check it out. Uh, but yeah, let's go back. Yeah, that, there it is, right? So I have my chroma key keyed out, cropped in, perfect. Works great. I like it. Now you got NDI support, right? Great. Let me show you another feature right here. Let's say if I do picture in the picture, right? And I want it, instead of me being in a box, right? Uh, I, maybe I want to have myself outside of the box, right? Let me see if I can fix that. You see right now, I'm in a box. I'm kind of transparent because I'm, I'm, I'm chroma keyed out which is, this is another nice feature. Since I'm chroma keyed out, that means that it's, I'm all transparent. But one of the things that we do have is rounded corners. When I click on my camera, you get this here, a new feature right here, which is the ability to round corner uh, your subject. Okay, so now I can make my avatar uh, my pitch in picture, a rounded picture. Remember before, again, we had to do the, the square, but now you could do a circle, which is nice. As you can see, now I'm a circle, all right? And if I, uh, and, and, and it, this is pretty neat. Let's go back and yeah, look at that. It's pretty neat. So I could add borders. I think I had a little small border here. I could add border. I could add an, uh, borders and you could do all kinds of edits. But now you don't have to be a doggone a square. You could be circle and you can adjust small. Or I can make it big here. And uh, I'm a circle, which is pretty neat. Okay. Another thing that you can do, let's say if I wanted to make this whole scene circle, right? So let's go here back to camera two and I can go up here and I can make adjustments. Boom, now I can make this background a circle. So that's pretty neat. I actually got one already set up. I want y'all guys to see. So I got that one, let me see here. Okay, so here it is, right? So I did this, I'm circled and the top down the circle. So it's pretty neat. Let me get out of here and show you guys in, in real time. Let's see. Bam. Okay. So here it is. This is pretty neat. I love this. So now you have the ability to make really good detail adjustments. And you could add, you know, let's say if I wanted to add another camera here. Let's go six. Okay. My six camera. I could. Oh, I tell you, what, what the, the unique thing about the Rodecaster video is that you could add, you could create stuff on the fly. So right now, you have myself here, and you got me right here, which I can make myself right there. Now I can take that and make that a rounded corner. Okay, bam. Okay, and so I could add this right here, 
or I could add it at the top, or I could do it right here. I could just kind of shrink it a little bit and add that right there. Okay, so look at that. <laughs> so now I got rounded cones. I have two cameras. This is the wireless camera, by the way. Uh, so the wireless camera, and I have my regular camera here. And I've done this scene in, what, wow, a few minutes? Not that long. And uh, yes, you could go from there. And let me show you guys in real time. Okay. And uh, let, let's go back to the, here. Let me show you guys how I did it. All right. So all I did was added a, a camera right here. Okay. And uh, right here, that's six. And I just rounded, corned it at. And I use this. This is a new feature right here, which I added a rounded corner, which you could do this pretty, pretty neat here uh, as far as your scenes. So we talked about NDI support, wireless. You could add four cameras, okay, uh, to your NDI. Uh, and you have PTZ control. Let me show you the PTZ control right quick. All right, let's go back here, okay? So here it is. This is going to be, my network. This is going to be my NDI. This is the wireless camera. As you can see right here, you have your key. I can do chroma key if I want to. Bam. You see the green screen just keyed out. Okay. You have green, blue, and Luma. I can make my adjustments. I can do everything here. But look at PTZ controls. So if it was a PTZ camera, I can control my PTZ right here. And I have, I can save it. I got up to eight banks where I can make all, I can save uh, all my PTZ camera, well, my PTZ layout here, which is absolutely amazing. I do have a few PTZ cameras, uh, my Osbot uh, Tail Air, which is a PTZ camera, which you, I could probably use these controls for that. Then you have your scene audio. So yes, now you have PTZ controls. Uh, you have everything else in between, which is absolutely nice. So. That, br that brings in NDI support. You, you got uh, the Rode Capture app, which you can use in iPhone, only iOS. Sorry, Android. I'm just a messenger. Sorry, Android. Uh, you got PTZ controls. Uh, you have Luma Key. Uh, you have, uh, uh, they updated the masking and they updated where you could uh, crop in your green screen uh, and overlay. Now, I, I can't, show you guys overlays in, in lower thirds because I haven't got that far. Again, I've only been using this software for an hour. Okay. Just so you know, one more thing I do want to show you guys real quick is that let's go into settings and not streaming profiles, but let's go to auto switching. And when you go to next, get started, you have what's called audio links which you could use your Rodecaster Pro 2 or your Surf, I mean, or your Rodecaster Duo. And now you could add that to any one of these here uh, for audio links. Uh, so yeah, this is new. So if you wanted to use your Rodecaster Pro 2 or your Rodecaster Duo and you wanted to add it to your combo jacks, your main chat, USB, Bluetooth, sound, games, whatever, right here, you can do all of that right here with audio link right there in your audio and your auto switching uh, part of your, your application. Okay. And uh, yeah, so here it is. You got NDI. That's a new feature that's added. Uh, your frame rates and everything still the same. Your switching is all, all the same. All right. If you want to see more videos about the Rodecaster video, make sure you leave it down in the comments. Let me know. Subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell. And I might have missed some stuff in this video. I probably did. Probably missed a lot of stuff in this video. I will do a follow-up video in a few days after I learn a whole lot about the new firmware update of the Rodecaster video. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Uh-oh. There we go. Let's get back to it. Right there. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Rodecaster video in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.